Well, here we have a Cobra 200 GTL DX, and uh, this one's come to me. A friend of mine has bought this, and he's picked it up rather cheap. And uh, of course, there is a reason why. Now, when we key up on this Cobra, there is absolutely no output power at all, not a thing. And I suspect that uh, if we have a look here on the meter there, nothing on the 2 watt scale. We'll just go over to uh, AM, have a look. Nothing at all, TX light is on, nothing on the meter. FM mode, again, key up, nothing. Nothing on the meter at all. And I suspect, it's what I think it's going to be, it's probably going to be the RF driver MOSFET in this radio, which is quite a common fault. It's a Mitsubishi RD16HHF1. So I'm going to uh, dismantle R200, do a few tests, and uh, then we'll go from there. Okay, well, here's the Cobra 200 GTL DX. I've installed the new RF driver MOSFET down there. There's a very common fault on these 200s. On many of the earlier versions, the uh, gate voltage, which is adjusted down there, was set too high on many of the earlier ones, and this caused the MOSFETs to burn out prematurely. Uh, the voltage on the gate should be around 3.2 to 3.4 volts. I always set the gate voltage before installing the new transistor. It's always a good idea to do that. Uh, any higher and the transistor, the MOSFET itself, is going to run hot and burn out. And uh, it is quite a common fault. Also, MOSFETs are very static sensitive. And my advice is, if you own one of these radios or another radio that uses these types of devices, make sure... That you always unplug the antenna if there's a storm around. Those little bursts of static destroy those MOSFETs all the time. Many people have found that out and uh, it's a pain in the bum because you have to keep on repairing them but there we go. Now let's have a look we're on AM mode and uh, I'm using the Revex meter here 200 watt meter and uh, it's connected straight to my IMAX 2000 so we'll have a look now and see what output we have. And there we are we're keying up quite nicely nice bit of swing audio over to the Revex and we have about 30 watts of carrier audio 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 four four audio peaking up there almost a hundred watts of swing and uh, we just check FM mode and key up we're on the high power again the same around about 30 watts we have a low power setting on this radio of course here so a quick look I've set it all up. It's about four or five watts carrier on low. No problem. And we'll go over, switch to USB. Let's have a quick look. Audio. 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 Swinging, uh, swinging over there about 80 to 100 watts PEP. So there we have another Cobra 200 GTL DX repaired. This is about the sixth one I've done of these radios, and it's always the same. It's always that little driver MOSFET. Now there we are, the guy got this cheap, so uh, he's got himself a bargain now.